Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna do a little analysis of the Arnold Classic South America or Arnold Classic Brazil 2024, and it was a very, very exciting show. So we got a, finally, we got a pro debut of Good Vito at this show. We got another very, very good edition of Rafael Brandau, and also we got Tonio Burton, who brought, I think, a very much improved version from his last edition at the Mr. Olympia 2023. And also, William Martins managed to squeeze into that top five, but he's definitely not cracking that top three. Top three is reserved for Rafael Brandau, Good Vito, and Tonio Burton. In which order you're gonna see in in this video we're gonna go pose for pose i think it's pretty clear what's gonna happen but maybe some of you guys will disagree with my opinion we're gonna start with the first pose front double bicep rafael brandau was in the center the majority of the time and he did have the most dominant presence especially in the front shot as far as the back shots different story very much different story you're gonna see in a second what i mean exactly and the side shots also open for debate now, as far as the front double bicep, yeah, I give this one to Rafael for sure. I mean, he does look great here, you can't deny that. Like, the symmetry of his physique, the proportions, the balance, and the conditioning, the fullness, the peak that he brought to this stage is not worse than the Arnold Classic Ohio. He brought it, as he promised. He wanted to be at his 100% in this show, and that's what he did. And I think he's going home with the victory. Now, as far as good Vita, that's the guy we gotta talk about. He, I gotta say, he did live up to his hype that's it that's just it nobody can question that what else would you expect from a guy at a pro debut like to beat rafael brandau who is like top six olympian right now or to beat tonio burton who is eight in the mr olympia and he could potentially beat tonio burton he most likely won't but we'll see about that however top three at this show is a fantastic result it's amazing as far as his conditioning, which was like the biggest question mark, he brought it, man, he definitely brought it. Maybe he could have been a little bit fuller, maybe a little bit more glaze, a little bit more oil would help his physique on this stage, maybe he can fix that for the finals, but as far as conditioning, as far as body fat percent, he was good, you're gonna see from all the angles, even from behind, he was good, he's definitely in shape, and the way he's hitting certain poses, like this one with a vacuum, it does look great. It actually looks very, very good. So, honestly, I'm happy with what he brought. Tony Burton, I mean, in this pose, I have him last. In this pose, they have Rafael Brandau, then Good Vito, and then Tony Burton. But Tony Burton also improved. From the Mr. Olympia, you're gonna see in which poses it's the most visible. It's not this one, but you're gonna see other poses. He definitely brought it as well. Very, very good top three. Now let's move on to the next pose, it's gonna be the front lat spread, I wish Good Vito would stand with his feet a little bit closer, and I promise you guys, Milos Sartre is gonna speak about this, he's gonna say that he's posing like a cowboy, like he's riding a horse, and it's true, I don't like it when guys do this, it's, it's too wide of a stance, I think he would look more aesthetic if his feet were closer, but that's something he can fix very easily. Now as far as this pose, between these three guys, like Tyler Mannion said, Rafael Brandau doesn't have weak poses. All of his poses are good. And unless you are as perfect as him, you're gonna lose some ground against him in many poses. So in this one, he definitely wins again. Also, this is probably his strongest pose. So it's definitely expected of him to win this one. As far as Good Vito versus Tonio, I go Tonio here all day. I don't like the way Good Vito is hitting it. His hands are placed way too high on his torso. And also the way he's posing with his legs. I would also like to see him push his elbows forward a little bit. I think this pose could look better if he did it differently. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is it. This is the best way. And the way it looks right now, the way I'm seeing it, it's not very good. It's definitely the worst amongst these three guys right here. Tonio's waist is super, super tiny compared to Good Vito's. Like, crazy difference. His legs are good, but standing next to Rafael, they're kind of looking a little bit, mm, a little bit slim. I would like to see a little bit more thickness in the inner thigh area. Also, I think his shoulders are a bit narrow, especially, again standing next to Rafael Brando, because he's also very, very wide, and his chest is broad, and Tonio's chest is not as broad, so also Tonio looks very good here, but I definitely do have Rafael winning this pose, and then Tonio, and then last, Guduito. Now we go to the side poses, and this is where it becomes a little bit tricky, because Tonio Burton has 
a lot of thickness, man, a lot of thickness, she definitely did gain a lot of muscle, like, chest to back, you know, side thickness, it's definitely improved, also his legs are looking really thick from the side, good weight though, it was also a question mark what he's gonna look in the side poses, because he wasn't really posting a lot of stuff from the side, he was mainly posting front double and most muscular, but I gotta say, him from the side, he looks decent, he actually looks pretty good, he doesn't look as good as Rafael or, or, or Tonio, and those guys are beating him in this pose, but he actually looks very nice, very good, now, as far as Tonio versus Rafael, I mean, I gotta say, I have Rafael still because he's a bigger man, because he's just bigger, wider, taller, he just takes more space on that stage, but if Tonio was a little bit bigger, just stretched out a little bit more, like with the same proportions, I think I would go with Tonio, because he has like crazy shoulders, look at the, look at the roundness of the shoulders, arms as well, that side leg is also very freaky, but again, Rafael is very big, very wide, and also I think his color, his tan, looks, it stands out more on this stage, so I don't know what it's like in person, but at least in this video, in this screenshot right here, I gotta go with Rafael, and this is where it stops, at least for a moment, the next pose is not gonna be won by Rafael Brandau, and you can guess which one it is, yeah, it's the back shot, it's the back double bicep, so let's check it out, I was really curious to see if Tonio Burton can actually beat Rafael in this one, and what good Vita is gonna look like in this one, because that's what everybody was saying, that he won't look as good in the back shots as he does in the front shots, and yeah, sure, you could make an argument that that's true, but is he looking bad in this back double bicep? no, no, conditioning wise, glutes are in, lower back is very much in, hamstrings also, maybe the lats could be thicker, but who has a perfect back, like it's very rare, so I gotta say he looked great in this shot, comparable to Rafael Brandau, because Rafael, once again, he's like, he's very good in most poses, and this pose is not looking bad for him, but it's not his strongest pose, also, I think now when I'm looking at this pose, I think he was a little bit sharper at the Arnold Classic Ohio, maybe just the lighting, I'm not sure, but it seems like his glutes and hamstrings were sharper back then, but you know, again, I think he's very comparable to Good Vito, because he's definitely more of a classic aesthetic guy, who added a ton of muscle, don't get me wrong, he's very big, he's probably winning this show, he's most likely, he's winning this show, for sure, but still, in this pose, I think he's definitely way more comparable to Good Vito than he is to Tonio Burton, look at Tonio's back, man, this is, this is like the second best back on the Olympia stage today, Sure, maybe he's not the biggest, the widest guy, but as far as development, as far as details, as far as the thickness of the back, I mean, Derek Lansford and then this freaking guy right here, Tonio Burton, his back is just insane, it's actually amazing, and I think over the years, in a couple of more years, he's gonna get wider, he's gonna get bigger, but his back is just ridiculous, I mean, it's so freaking insane, it's just a proper Cobra back, you can see Cobra's face on it, like, it's very complete, head to toe, erectors, lats, uh, rhomboids, traps, even shoulders from behind, arms, everything is looking just crazy, man, and the glutes are in great condition as well, I can definitely see why they're calling him the new Daxter Jackson, and I think he probably has even a better back than Daxter, like, more pronounced wee taper, right? I mean, it's definitely questionable, but in this pose, he looks amazing, and he takes this one. Now we go to the back lat spread, and pay attention to Tonio. Look at his freaking back in the transition as well. And look at the thickness and the width right here when he hits the pose. Pretty crazy, pretty freaking crazy, right? And also his conditioning is better than Rafael's, so he's definitely winning these two shots. Both back shots. Is it gonna be enough for him to win the entire show? No, no, it's not gonna, but I'm really amazed by his back. Rafael, once again, from the back, a little bit disappointing, I mean, especially compared to the Arnold Ohio, I don't think this is actually his best conditioning this year, but very close, very comparable, enough to win this show. Good Vito in the back lat spread, pretty good too, like the back double bicep, like not disappointing, pretty wide, Again, I think he could maybe stand a little bit more straight and look a little bit taller. I think he's bending a little bit too much at the knees and the hips. But I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he would look worse if he did that. 
Uh, he looks good, I gotta say, and that's all that matters. Against Raphael, I think he also shows more separation the glutes and the hamstrings. And his quads are like popping out more. And his back is bigger, wider. So this is definitely very comparable. I think I would go with Gudwito here. I think Raphael loses both back shots to both of these guys. But that's only two shots. And that's it. Everything else basically is won by him. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he's winning this show. Actually, a little bit later, the judges moved Tony Burton in the middle. They did not move Good Wheat in the middle, so it's between Rafael and uh, Tonio. In my eyes, it's definitely Rafael. In the side tricep, surprisingly, Good Wheat actually looks very good. I love the way he's hitting it, the way he's pressing his arms to his body, like he makes his arm look really wide. The shoulders also are separated. I mean, he flows really well in this pose. Tonio is not hitting in a very good way, his lower belly is popping out a little bit more than I would like to see it, and he's not really opening up, this is like the best that it gets, he didn't really rotate too much, it's not just the angle, he doesn't look very good in this shot, and so this one is pretty clearly won by Rafa Brando. The next shot is absent eyes, and as expected, this one is most certainly won by Rafael Brandau. The way his ties, the way his quads are shaped, and also he has pretty good midsection, and just like the, the small waist and the wee taper. Uh, Tony Burton, like, not the best details in the quads. Yeah, he has great outer sweep, but just like Chris Cormier said, it looks like he's doing something to those quads. It could be just genetic, but like he doesn't have the best quality, the details, the feathers in those quads. Also, his abs have that separation in the middle, and also they're popping out a little bit too much, like the, 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 the gut is popping out. Good Wito shows great details in his quads, that's probably his strongest body part, that and his arms, especially in the, in the front double. His abs also are looking very good, uh, especially after he fixed his hernia. Uh, he also looks very good, but uh, with Rafael's small, tiny waist, yeah, I go with Rafa in this one, but Good Vito is actually pretty close. So we approach to the last pose, and it's gonna be the most muscular pose, and let's see who wins this one, and even though Rafael is like a more aesthetic guy, he takes this one. He actually looks very good in this crab most muscular, I mean, he's showing great separation in his delts, arms, chest, quads, good Vito and uh, Tony Burton are looking very good in this one as well, but yeah, I go with Rafael, as far as good Vito versus Tony, it's very close to toss up if you ask me, I'm not sure who wins this one between these two guys, and like I said, at the end of the show, they put Tony in the center as well, they did not put good Vito in the center, so based on that, I think Tony is most likely placing second and good Vito third, and uh, Rafael is winning the show, which I think is the most uh, reasonable outcome, but I could be wrong, if you guys disagree with me, tell me in the comment section, and tell me why, tell me what do you think about Good Vito and what he brought, and also whatever is on your mind, please comment down below, if you enjoyed this video guys, just click that like button, and for more videos about bodybuilding, subscribe to this channel guys, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye bye.